So for today, we're going to be talking about the Heist Battleground Mars. And I'm going to be real with you guys. I was a lot more hyped than I really should have been, uh, mostly because we are back on Mars. I'll show you guys my reaction in a bit. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help. I really do appreciate uh, everyone who subs and whatnot. We hit 2000 not too long ago. And I really do appreciate y'all. Y'all are killing it. And yeah, uh, just let me know if you guys like the content. Let me know. And let's get into it. Five. No! Now. Then there's no <laughs> Yo, it's been so long. So the Mars map is actually probably my favorite so far, just because the nostalgia is really real but it's also a lot more varied. So for the first portion, you're gonna spawn in where we used to spawn for this particular zone. I didn't I didn't try to see if we can go back, although I highly doubt it. They usually do a good job at not allowing us to go back to uh, other locations. Just look at Cosmodrome. Cosmodrome is a great example of that. But for this one, you're essentially having to get the towers back up, the, the, uh, the war mine towers that was in funnily enough war mine the dlc and all you have to do is shoot the gunk that's on the tower the tower will go up and after that you can actually uh just defend the tower until all the towers are restored once the tower is restored you have to get the laser beam and shoot the gunk that's in front of the doorway once you get to the actual doorway then it gets pretty cool because it's just another ghost situation it's not that cool actually so uh just wait for the ghost to finish his thing i will note though that you do actually have to be close to the ghost so one of you does have to babysit the ghost a bit because if you don't then like the ghost loses uh like connection or something like that which is really weird but i ended up babysitting the ghost because hey i don't really care i'll do it. i don't it's not that big a deal but just know that some of you might not want to be babysitting the the ghost so after you do the ghost this is the actual exciting part because now you have to go get from point a to point b point a being uh, essentially where you start off with the ghost the doors will open and then this all this like jumping puzzle type thing will come up but the towers that can actually insta kill you are there so you have to actually either go really fast or be really smart in how you actually go about it so for me i was just using a lot of cover while i was running so that way it can reset my timer little by little or I would just outright wait because again, it'll insta kill you if you're not careful. Uh, this portion is really fun, which is why I really like the Mars one, even though it does have a, a waiting ghost, which I personally don't like. If you guys haven't seen it, I talk about it in the moon video. I'll have it right now. And just for shits and giggles, I'll also have the other one right now, the Europa one. So for me, I really like the fact that it's three instances in this essentially. You have to uh, get the towers back up and running, which means you have to wait there. But a lot of enemies are in there. And if you do this in the harder difficulty, then it actually gets pretty challenging, especially if you're defending it by yourself. Uh, the ghost waiting is honestly kind of like whatever defending the ghost. It's 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 a defending ghost type thing. Like you've always you've done this a million times. The only caveat is that one peers one person has to actually wait next in next to the ghost. If not, then the ghost will be like, I, I lost connection. The my most favorite part will most likely be the running portion just because of a, the amount of fun it was. Again, uh, who would have known that the danger of getting insta killed by towers while you're doing a jumping puzzle would be the thing that I would actually like the most. Uh, don't get me wrong. The shooting is really cool. I particularly like the first portion of it. But for me, the running and not trying to get killed by the towers is just a lot of fun to me. So after you get done with the jumping puzzle, then it gets to the the pre boss place where essentially you have to get the lasers and kill the the hive runes keys things. Uh, after that, it gets to the next boss. And this this boss is actually probably the best boss so far, just because the Europa boss for me I'm not a really big fan of shriekers although if you guys are aware of like the old destiny strikes you guys will recognize the this one from the vanilla d2 strike i don't remember the name specifically i'll have it up right now but yeah it's it's pretty cool your opus boss isn't terrible by any means it's just uh it's really annoying uh not the same for the moon one i think the moon one's fine 
It's just that the teleporting really pisses me off. Same thing with Europa. I didn't say this, but the Shrieker does teleport a lot, which is kind of annoying. Uh, for for the Mars one, it's literally just a Hive Knight, and he hits hard. Like, he actually hits hard. The annoying part is he technically does teleport, but it's more so he teleports out of the arena and then teleports back in. So it is a little bit more annoying because you actually have to wait for a bit, especially if you're trying to get, like, get his health down and you're the only one then you're just going to be there for a while considering that's what happened with me with my teammates they were just doing other things while i was waiting they're trying to kill the boss but even with all that i think that's probably the most fun boss for me personally just because uh he's scary he's actually scary he'll come up to you bonk you and you're dead so overall i think the mars is the best one so far which is super dope i i hope the next one is kind of like at that same level where it's like hey, this one's the best one now because i i like that i like that a lot i don't know how many more we're gonna get um i think mars might be the last one although i hope we have more just because variations always appreciated especially in a season because i think one of the pitfalls of like seasons is the fact that there's just not a lot of varied uh like places because you go to the if you go to the mars location then it's gonna be like okay cool like i'm gonna fight a knight so that means i can go either close quarters or i can do this or that and you kind of like adjust around which map you're going into especially when you go into the harder instances because you are five levels under which means death is very much a real thing and a very real possibility at this point so uh great job bungie this is really fun i know people are gonna give a shit because it is this is a map from Destiny 2 Vanilla, Mars specifically. I still really enjoyed it. I, I'm i not, not defending it by any means. I'm also in that camp of like, stop giving us reissued stuff. But I also do believe that there is a tasteful way of making reissued content. I think this is one of them. I think this is amazing. And yeah, I think this was very tastefully done. I really enjoyed this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me, links are in the description below. Uh, Thank you guys for all the all the support i really do appreciate it man i really do want to make a video just explaining my my thankfulness of it because uh yeah it's it's wild it's very much wild i will have fashion videos coming up soon i know i've been doing a lot of non-fashion videos but i did want to get back to doing other content besides fashion don't worry fashion is still going to be like a huge portion of my content but it's also one of those things like i'm trying to get all the fashion that came out this season so that's why i have not make, made any fashion videos also be aware that the people who have asked for fashion or exotic videos specifically you are not ignored i've i've seen those uh comments i have them in my list right now so do not worry if you guys are wondering oh is he gonna make more exotic videos i will be making more exotic videos just be aware that uh i'm also like trying to do a lot of things and i also am managing my second channel so a lot of a lot of rendering a lot of editing but also a lot of like playing destiny 2 because again i'm almost done with the activity armor for this season i'm almost there for that and the cowboy armor kind of almost there as well once i get all of that armor you're gonna see reviews individual armor pieces into armor sets like just the whole shebang for me so you are not you're not ignored if you ask for a video specifically and we also will be starting to look into uh, specific armor sets, like kind of like a showcase where we look at some cool armor sets and what we what I can do with them, what I would uh, suggest you do with them, like just a bunch of stuff in my head. So if you are up for it, uh, subscribe, like video, everything, hit the bell notification to, to, to make sure you're up to date with my content, especially when I post Zer videos, because a lot of people uh miss my zer videos and i do the first thing we talk about is which armors are selling because i feel like that's important especially for me as a fashion uh destiny 2 destiny 2 youtuber because zer sometimes sells fire and some people don't pick it up so be safe uh appreciate y'all and i'll see you guys later